Good evening, folks. What's going on? Good to see all of you, Buster. I see you there. Cheers to you, buddy, and all of you joining us tonight. Oh, yes. Excellent. What's up, Satellite? What's up, Eva? Two hit. Our Dominic, good to see you. RV Winkle, Naren, Laretra Spiso. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. I had a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, we had a party yesterday. It was basically just a big party. Uh, my wife invited some of her um, previous coworkers over from her from her last job, and they they are party people. So I did I did a little amateur bartending. We had a ton to eat. We all drank a lot. I drank a lot. I drank a lot. So. Um, the, the party basically ended around, like, 11 p.m. last night, I think. So after that, we, we shuffled the kids off to bed, and then it was, it was a race to see how much water I could drink before collapsing from exhaustion. And fortunately, it was enough. Fortunately, it was enough, because I woke up bright and early this morning. Feeling fine. So maybe, maybe I'm just a, a practiced hand at this by now. I was drank a lot, what a shocker. I know. News at 11, right? But it was good. It was a good time. Very good time. Three in a row. Five in a row. Oh, one. I see some one-upmanship happening in chat. <laughs> this is Bubsy 2, the asshole lied to me. I never promised you anything. You of all people, I wouldn't promise anything to. So I'm just getting cryptically po poetic out, uh, out of nowhere at the end of that ship. And the first warning sign. You have egg on my face thinking it was going to be Dawn of Sorrow, simply because Oddish had already played it on stream. Yeah, and I played this myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually- I haven't actually worked out, um, a DS streaming solution yet. I know- I know y'all have recommended some, but I haven't gotten around to setting any up yet. But, uh, this is the last GBA Castlevania. If we want to keep rolling with Castlevania, then we're going to need to migrate over to the DS for Dawn of Sorrow. Um, so I might have to start looking into that, I suppose. Vinny was playing a randomized Aria of Sorrow not too long ago. Imagine this game lends itself pretty well to randomizers. Don't see Mina. It's all in his head. 11pm is hardly the end time of a good party. Well, we're all parents. It's, it's the, it's the end of most parties if you have kids. Wasn't supposed to be a point and click? Does Aria have a point and click? No. No. Point, point click is oh, so funny. There's basically... <laughs> One of the most interesting things you learn by streaming is that there is absolutely no way to get information out to everyone. It doesn't matter how many times you mention something, some stuff is just not gonna get through. This week is the platformer, and the platformer is now known to be Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Should take about three nights. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday should be all we need for this. Next week, one week from tonight, we'll be starting a point and click. And then the week after that, we'll, uh, we'll be starting Fantasy Star, so. <clears throat> also, something you learn is that everyone has an infinite capacity for sass, yes. That is absolutely true. What's up, Lodra High? Watch me tells me I'm on day one of my streak on my phone versus my computer. Very annoying. That is annoying. The point click Siberia! I'll never tell. I'll never tell. 
There's one thing I enjoy about streaming. It's 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 being uh, it's being coy about what I'm what I'm gonna play. It's very enjoyable. Um. Well, shit. I just remind you the schedule so we can just get to it. Welcome, welcome back to the Castlevania series. This is Aria Saro. The year is 2035. We're a scant 11 years away from the initiation of this. It's Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Sama Cruz. I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my class uh, mate, cl childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina. For some strange reason, the stairs leading to the shrine felt longer than usual, as if something was trying to keep us from our destination. When I finally managed to get through the shrine gate, my senses began to dim. The pitch black sun is holding chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse the sleeping soul as if looking for their other half. I'm kind of getting it. Civ 6 is kind of fun. It's Miss. Please come back faster, Dracula. What's up, Fury Fighter? A horrible night to be Budget Alucard! Oh my god, where did that castle come from? So yes, yeah, so this is the third and final Castlevania. Castlevania? This is the third and final Castlevania game on the GBA. Um, easily the best one on the GBA, and for my money, the best one, period. As far as I'm concerned, there is no Castlevania better than this. The, the series peaked here. Come out and say that Soma's hotter than Alucard is also an absolute dream. Soma is super hot. <laughs> There's really, there's really no getting around it. Soma is super hot. If, if you played Aria of Sorrow, because Aria of Sorrow, I forget, I forget the artist's name. Someone will remind me. Um, but the, the artist they had working on this series just does the most gorgeous men you can ever imagine. And yeah, Soma, in a lot of ways, Soma is like, like peak, peak design. Castle Gania, <laughs> yes, queen. Mm. A lot of things peaked with Aria of Sorrow. Unfortunately for Dawn of Sorrow, one of the things they 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 skimped on was the uh, the art direction. They had to go with a different artist. I think it might have actually been the same artist from um. Was it the same artist from Circle of the Moon, or did that one have... No, I don't remember. I remember that one looking kind of cartoony. Anyway, it's it, it's a much... It, it's a much more anime, much uh, cartoonier art style, and it really doesn't suit any of the characters, like, at all. I'm staying abroad in Japan, yet Mina's a childhood friend. Is that even studying abroad anymore and not just moved to Japan a decade ago? I mean, it's some dude named Soma Cruz in Japan. Obvious, obviously, like in the 21st century, like the world, the world has thoroughly globalized. It does make me wonder, chat. What is, what is having Dracula in your timeline due due to your your international history? Like, how does it change things if every hundred years, at most? Some, like, immortal demon king just materializes in Eastern Europe and you just have to hope and pray that some dude from a very specific family lashing a whip around is gonna go blow his castle up. Like, that's gotta mess with people. Could've been an internet friend. Circle of the Moon was uh, Kazuko Fujihara, according to Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whoever, whoever did Dawn Whoever did the art, the, the portrait art for Dawn of Sorrow, um, they're certainly not a bad artist, but just, just, the, just the wrong style, especially coming off of Arya. Toma Cruz, The Last Samurai. Most of the rest of the world doesn't give a shit about Eastern Europe, so probably not as much effect as you think. I guess, yeah, I guess if, if the Belmonts keep tamping Dracula down every time he shows up, nobody really understands what an existential threat he is. Um, I would get into the backstory of this game, but the characters are actually going to share that as we go through. And as I've learned so acutely, uh, 
however ubiquitous I may think a game is, there's going to be somebody in chat who hasn't seen it before. So in terms of narrative, this one actually has probably the, the most interesting narrative twists of any of the, the Metroid-style Castlevanias. Um, I really like the plot. And I really like everything about this one. You're going to... Chat, you're gonna have to suffer through a lot of a lot of just just open, shameless loving of this game because I I adore it. It is hands down my favorite Castlevania game for a lot of reasons that I will go through at excruciating depth as we play this game. Guess you're going for the I mean, there's only one ending, really. I'll show you the other one. It's certainly easy enough to get, but yeah. Up to uh, the Undertale-inspired fight from Zero Ranger. Interesting, very cool. Oh, as far as my gaming goes, um, I've I've been I'm still flirting around with like Neverwinter Nights, and uh, I haven't I haven't gone back to Void Stranger yet, because uh, I've just I felt really lazy this weekend. Didn't want to use my brain. I have been playing a lot of Project High Rise. Um, I com I completed uh, another scenario. In Project High Rise, and I start up a, another one almost immediately thereafter. I'm having a great time with it. It's really, really fun to come back to. Mini Maker. What is Mini Maker? Been playing this absolutely stupid game. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> well, let's see what it is. Let's see what this is. <laughs> what in the hell? Uh, I see. I, I see off-brand Princess Peach. Oh, this is cool. Laugh in the face of per perfectionism. I, I I like I like what this is selling. Nice. Oh yeah, I heard about Moonlighter being on sale. So anyway, chat. Um, I, I'm not I'm not gonna scroll over because it would technically have spoilers for playthrough. Um, but I've beaten this game. I've beaten this game several times. Uh, I've also done a complete like 100% playthrough of this, all, everything. Everything you can collect in this game I've collected, so. And there is, well, there's, there's, you can see what the other mode is, but we won't dwell on that too much. For now, I say, let's get started. And we're gonna, we'll play on normal. I want, I want you all to see what the, the normal game is like. <coughs> How long did it take you to the fucking souls? I think... I think that save file is like at 13 hours or something. I think. After after we beat the game, we can, we can go back and check. I'm always bubsy. We're not gonna be bubsy. Sparky was the name of my dwarf hamster when I was a kid, and I always found it really funny to name my vampire hunter after her. Oh look, the year is 2035 again! There are plenty of people who still try to tell you how to do everything and experience more shit. Yeah, I know. I know. It's... <laughs> I've been streaming for five and a half years, I know how this shit works. Grisylvania area. <laughs> What's up, PM Collector Boy? At one point I just hacked more luck because I literally spent two hours just trying to get Persephone so Yeah, no, it, it is, it is a grind. It's not as bad of a grind as Symphony of the Night. Symphony of the Night is a shocking grind. And yes, I have gotten every inventory item in, in Symphony of the Night too. Souls don't take too long in this game. Now I've never done a full 100% playthrough of Dawn of Sorrow because of a mechanic we'll talk about in the future that they add to that one. Mind you, I was having fun, but I was like, I think that's enough. Yeah. No, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah, Ritual of the Night Souls and also Special Moon Mastery. He's so hot! <laughs> right? Like, it's not just me. Come on, chat. Back me up on this. We gotta get this out of the way before we get started. Wanna touch, dude, I wanna touch this here too. I would ask, respectfully, I would ask first. I would ask first, but my God, man. Like, what is he conditioning that with? 
special move mastery is worth it and unlocks the ability for all weapons within that type. Oh yeah, I remember that being a thing. Yeah, it's both poofy and smooth. It's got volume, but like, this like gorgeous sheen. It's perfectly sculpted around him. Also, also, I mean, we got to talk about that fit too. I mean, the 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 fur coat he's wearing, like, just it it really enhances the whole look. Hair looks like a wig. You just you just don't know to it. You just don't know. Know a lot about Audish's taste. Spent like five years here. I would imagine you would after after a time. <coughs> anyway, he's having a good old time here. Mmm. Who the hell is this? You can do better than this. This is Mina Hakuba. No, we didn't see her in that opening crawl. No, I don't know why. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? It's really hot too. <laughs> so you've decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? <laughs> it's okay, Suma. His name is Genya Arikado. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions and I need answers now. <laughs> Actually, I went to a hair saloon before this. Go, go, go ahead. By the way, avoid spoilers for, for all the reveals in this game, okay? Because, like I said, there's, there's inevitably somebody in chat who hasn't seen this game before. And there are some really solid reveals in this, especially if you don't know the Castlevania series that well. Why have you come here? Why? Well, Mina and I... Hang on, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle! Boom! Deal with it! <laughs> but they know! But they know what this is, huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we're in Europe? No, we are inside the solar eclipse. Oh, okay. Inside the eclipse? You're insane! Do you think I'm a fool? So much. listen to him, he's telling you the truth. I don't know how she verified this, but whatever. I do kind of wonder what you'd see if you just kind of peered over the castle walls at this point. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Gasp, an enemy. Gasp, it's a lot of enemies. Damn, protect the girl! Yeah, Go back to where you came from! And suddenly we know how to throw spears. What, what was that thing? So it has awakened. I do wonder why, like, after all this time, is Shrine Maiden who gets the Mina Harker reference name? I don't think I heard everyone else having it in the series. I... Offhand, I can't think of another Mina in the series, no. Which is kind of odd, isn't it? Well, I mean... Has there, has there been a Van Helsing reference? Really? I know, because I'm really into horoscopes. Her hair picks up communication. What? What has? By the way, sound level's okay? Is it is it too quiet? Is it can, can you hear what's going on? This game has a really good soundtrack. The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. All right, I'll turn it up a bit. I would be happy to. I can just see on, on my side the levels are a bit low, so. Why would I have that power? You've gained the power, now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber, then you will understand everything. I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her, I'll put up a protective barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. The, 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 uh, the, yes, only you can save her from a painful death. It's a bit grim, this Genya. And you, what will you do? I too, I have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth! Both your own life and hers are at stake. 
Video game time, chat. We're here. We've arrived. I can jump. I can stab. I can be fabulous. I can talk to Mina, but she ain't having it. All right, so what do we got here? What's going on? He's still so hot. Uh, so 320 hit points, 80 magic points, 10 strength, 12 con, 11 in, 9 luck. Status, good. 15 attack, 11 defense. Uh, we've discovered 0.2% of the castle. So we got our soul set. There's three kinds of souls. Right now we have a, a red soul equip. Um, which bas basically this game sub weapon. Uh, equipment, you get a weapon, you get armor, and then you get an accessory. Bit more, uh, it's a bit limited compared to other uh, games in this style, but I do kind of feel like the soul system makes up for it. For a GBA game, the controls top notch is very responsive. Very much so, yes. Yeah, you don't have after images when you walk or jump, so someone's clearly inferior. What did they taste like? Probably tastes like root beer. That'd be my guess. Uh, you have an item use menu, you have an ability menu, which only has six entries. Uh, you can sleep, you can config, and they give you a big bestiary right here. 112 enemies in the game. We have 0.8% of the souls. But enough of that. How about you? Oh, and yeah, castle map. Welcome to the castle corridor. It's the usual. It's the entryway to the castle. There's zombies. This place is looking a little rundown. Uh, I can't reach. Nice juicy zombies, too. They do go splat real good. Soma's... Who made... Oh, yeah, all the animation frames for Soma. Soma is, like, lovingly animated. Yeah, and they burn. <laughs> when they die, they just spontaneously explode. All right, we got a short sword. I think I would like that. I also, I really, it's it, it's a very minor thing, but I really appreciate that the music keeps going while you're in your sub menus. Um, straight up, some of the Castlevania games don't do that. Also, I know I'm covering up some of the stats here. I'll just narrate for you. Short sword, current attack is 15. Short sword puts it up to 18. So naturally, we're gonna use that. Also has greater reach. Big knife for a cheap pocket knife, I know, right? What I will say is, while the game isn't easy per se, giving you 300 plus HP at the beginning seems awfully generous, yeah. So immediately, we've made it to the underground reservoir. And there's a tiny devil. Independent. This is one people tout as the best of uh, the GBA trilogy. This is the one I tout as the best, period. For my money, this is the best Castlevania game. The series peaked here. But yes, there is there is a very strong consensus that this is the best of the GBA games. Because, I mean, not a lot of competition. What's up, Arcane? Ah, I'm sorry! I agree with the peaking here. It is a truly magnificent game. Gold dollars, Dracula prefer the gold CMG. Dracula would be a hoarder, wouldn't he? Okay, well obviously I can't get up there. Can you unequip and go weaponless? Um, I think you can? Yes. So Soma Punch. I mean, it's still attack 10 if you do that. I really do miss Portrait of Ruin though. Portrait of Ruin is, I like, I like it. I, I will stand for Portrait of Ruin. It's, it's got too many flaws to be, to be the best. And it definitely isn't the best on, on DS. 
you know, the the competition on DS is a, is a lot tougher than the competition on GBA. It's honestly pr probably my favorite part of it. Charlotte, uh, Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan. When, if and when we get to Portrait Ruin, I am gonna annoy the shit out of all of you with that. It will never end. Do you think you've ever tried the punch? I mean, this game has punch weapons in it, so you you know what to expect. But no, um, past past this one, Dawn Dawn of Sorrow, the first one on, on DS, is a direct sequel to this game, which is unusual. Um, and it, by all accounts, it should be a better game, but it isn't. Anyway, there's a fourth kind of soul, gray souls. These, these are ability souls. There's only six of them in the game. And we just got the first one, the Gravekeeper. We can bash back, back dash by pressing L now. And we got the Merman soul. Oh, by the way, um, yeah. That's the, that's the winged skeleton soul we got. I can just huck spears at things, it's great. And these are the save rooms. I really like the save rooms in this. They're very atmospheric. Do you annoy the shit out of us now? Did not like swords in Dawn of Sorrow. I wound up getting the strongest punch soul. Drawing mechanic in the middle is so vestigial, it kind of drags it down. They, they made, Dawn of Sorrow should, should have been a better game, but they made some really bad decisions. One of them was how they evolved the soul system um, and its interplay with the equipment system. One of, one of its big drawbacks is how they decided to try using the uh, touch screen on the DS. All that being said, I'm not sure I actually like Portrait more than Dawn. I, I really need to play it again. I think I've actually played Portrait more than Dawn. I've only played through Dawn once, but I've been through Portrait multiple times. Portrait has a really neat vibe. Um, but it's, it, it's weak in other areas, unfortunately. And then there's Order of Ecclesia. Order of Ecclesia is probably the most contentious of the DS games. I think in general people really like it, but it's uh, it's it's different. Portrait is fun. Really enjoys super fun boss fights. The 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 areas you go to in Portrait are really cool. It's it's a bit different from the traditional castle crawl. Ginger growing all souls now you can grab max copies of yeah. Look. Big Chungus Skellington. It's a big old creaky skull. They give you somebody to practice your new back dash on. It's very nice of them. And that's it. He's dead. <laughs> Action pose. Yo, get up for a creaking skull. Like to never finish the ending that game skills. Yeah, uh, uh, Ecclesia, yeah. Ecle like Ecclesia it. starts hard and gets harder. I don't know. I don't know why, necessarily. I don't know why they decided to make a really hard Metroid style Castlevania. I mean, I guess it's good there. there is one that's this particularly challenging, but I just don't really feel the need for it. This is the future, so someone canonically knows how to dab. I wonder if it's at all possible to get this enemy soul into first try. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, un unless they're, they're plot important, boss souls. Um, yeah, there's nothing like game breaking about them or anything, so. Dabula. Try the touchscreen mechanic twice and then install ROM hack to get rid of it, yeah. Said, now that I think about it, among the DS ones, I don't know, it, like, I really need to play Dawn again. Dawn might actually be my favorite DS one. Ecclesia's cool, it's just, it's so hard. Ecclesia is really hard and really stressful. Like... The, to me, the fun of a Metroidvania is just exploring. 
like seeing seeing everything the game has to offer. I'm not I don't really play these games for the challenge. So Ecclesia being a ball buster, like didn't really work for me. And yeah, I love I love Portrait, but Portrait Portrait has issues. Are they worse than Dawn's issues? I don't know actually. Now I'm not sure. Now I really want to play the DS ones again. Whew. All right, we got our first blue soul, the flying armor. Blue souls are, um, they're they're like toggleable. This one fall, uh, slows your falling speed and increases your jump distance. So, oh my god, oh my god, wrong buttons. So yeah, flying armor. So flying armor you activate by holding the R button. It's fun, I did enjoy it. Otis is right, it's hard, but holy butts, it goes so freaking hard at the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, at first, I actually thought you were talking about Portrait. Portrait actually gets pretty hard by the end. May maybe that's where it started, honestly. Uh, Dawn, Dawn of Sorrow, I feel like, is pretty even-handed the whole way through. This, this game is pretty even-handed. This one does not... I don't remember any particular difficulty spikes in this one. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's some troublesome bosses here and there, but like, I don't remember ever getting stuck in this game. But I definitely, I definitely got stuck a lot in Ecclesian. I think I got stuck once or twice in Portrait. Booer. A fish had a baby, congrats. Notice how these use mana? Yes, yeah. That green bar up there is our mana, and you can see it ticking down right now. But your mana also naturally regenerates, a la Symphony of the Night, so it works out. Boss fight at the end of Portrait, that while it's tough, it's also fun, fun as all. Portrait has really clever boss fights. By the way, you need the flying arm to get across here. That, that's why they shoved that down there. When did they start calling them white dragons? I know them as boner dragons. What, ha what happened to my sweet boner dragons from NES Castlevanias? Okay, now these are interesting. Zombie soldiers. And since it takes place in 2035, they're like marines. They got combat knives and they throw grenades. They were white dragons in the night. Okay, so that, that's, been, that's been changed for a long time then. That's a shame. See that Symphony of the Night, a flash of light, and the game is saved. Now there's long, drawn out coffin spin. I thought everybody loved the coffin spin. All right, enough with the casual clothes. Let's wear some leather plate. Puts our defense up to 17. Also, wait, I got something else. I got a cape. Um, We'd end up trading one point of luck for one point of defense. I'm gonna keep the luck. Luck is much more important in this game arguably than previous Castlevanias because of the soul system. Because every enemy in the game basically drops an ability for you and you want them. Yeah, luck equal item drops. So... Yeah, I'm not getting up there. I can't give me your shit. How you doing tonight, Chaos? And Arcane, how you doing? How's everybody doing? How was, how was your weekend? I had a party and got drunk as hell. All right, we got Skull Archer, fires enchanted arrows. Let's do that. In fact, let's, let's test some of these out. Let's water pistol this guy. Pew. 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 I did my license photo taking tomorrow. I'm tweezing to look halfway decent. Quite frankly, ouch. Ooh, yeah. I, I like, I, you'll never catch me tweezing. I'd rather just look like a goddamn chia pet. Think great, finally got a group together for D&D &D for the first time in almost a month. Damn, we all missed it so much. Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, one, um, one slight drawback to the magic system in this. So your main, your main source of funding is getting money out of candles, right? 
But if you're not at max mana, when you break a candle, it drops a heart instead, which helps restore some of your mana. So, unfortunately, you kind of want to be running around with full mana all the time. Oops. Um, you can't, you can make that. I want to make that. Just gotta find the right place to launch off of. Skull Archer's Secret Agent is a major pervert. <laughs> Damn it, I swear you can make this. Ah! Uh, that was like it. If you, like, if you jump from the very tippy top of the stairs, you can make that. You know, it's fine. I had no idea I downloaded a ROM hack that helped out with the mana issue. <laughs> No! Oh, Jesus. Here, drink water. There we go. All right. I got a pretty scarf. How does this look on me? Uh, trade one luck for two defense? Nah, still not doing it. We haven't been in mortal peril yet. Made that jump once and immediately fell back down and could repeat it. I think there's another jump like that coming up in a room ahead. Maybe not. There is a very minor sequence break you can do with a with a perfectly executed jump like that. But again, it's really not a big deal. Probably more trouble than it's worth. We want to remember that armor up there. Let's try Skull Archer. Or scarf can be verb, it sure can. What's up, Manic? How you doing tonight? Pium. Pium. I'm arching. Ha! I can do that too. Ha ha! Ha ha ha. Or the, the peeping eye has a very good one, yeah. I would actually really like that one. But I'm pretty sure it has like garbage drop rates. I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure soul drop rates are not equal. That some some souls are significantly harder to get than others. Like obviously the ghost soul is very easy to get. You spam skull archer. So the ghost one is like a summons. Ooh, I got a combat knife on him. Combat knife knives are always good. Damn! Okay. So, my current attack is 21, combat knife, 37. Combat knives in Castlevanias are so good. Grinded for the peeping soul. Also the ghost one, because it wouldn't drop for you. Oh, really? Very short range. That's okay. When when you only have to hit an enemy like half as many times, it really doesn't matter. Few uh, monsters drop uh, weapons. Yeah, not as not as many as Symphony. I'll never get over just how many how many items are hidden away behind like super rare monster drops in Symphony. Like, so many cool-ass weapons that the average player never gets to see. There are two magical flying swords that you can get off of enemies that most people never, ever get to see. It is a goddamn tragedy. Recommend getting the Boor Soul. I love it. I'm not finding the, finding the game pack uh, guide over the usefulness. Boor is like rotating fire, right? I remember there's a, there's a soul like that. I don't think it's ro I don't think it's ro rotating fire. I think it's rotating books in um, uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and it is extremely good. It is exceptionally helpful, like throughout the entire game. Killing a schmoo easy peasy. I've always gotten really lucky with the chrysogram in uh, in Symphony of the Night.
And then good old Chris Igram. <clears throat> really, it really makes you feel that lack of iframes in uh, in Symphony of the Night. All right, uh, we got. I want to see what the ghost does. We're gonna we're gonna summon. Do it. Wow, that sucked. Thanks for nothing. Okay, so it does like a fair bit of damage, but it doesn't seem to like home in or anything. You want it so bad. The worst probably is that stupid ring you get off the giant skeletons. It's just like a massive, massive stat boost and you need two of them. Jesus Christ, the drop rate on that thing is stupid. Yeah, the Ring of Varda. That was, that was easily the most agonizing thing I did in Symphony. Hey, there's a sword up there and I can't have it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's like plus 24 at all stats. Each of the rings. So you grind out two of them because you have two uh, accessory slots. It's like plus 48 to all your stats. It's nuts. All right, well, I guess we're going down here. Whee! Ever tried to grind for our heart refresh off the fucking dodos? What's up, Echo Far? Yes, this game is gorgeous. Easily one of the prettiest games on the DS, uh, on the GBA. Like, excellent use of color palette, excellent pixel art, amazing animation. Like, the animation in this game is so good. Like, just watching Soma cruise around, haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Is extremely enjoyable. Would have loved this as a kid, yeah. Yep, this is, I will, I will remind you endlessly, chat, this is my favorite Castlevania of all time. Would you visit Dracula's Haunted Castle the next time the eclipse comes around? I mean, if it looks like this, sure. Bat, oh, the bat soul is like, bat soul is like one of the worst, I think. The bat soul is just garbo. All right, we're here. It reported. Ow. Ow. I actually used the bat soul for a long time since it's omnidirectional. Not sure it. I just here, let's um I didn't actually use the tiny devil yet, but let's give it a try. It kills Merman. Mermen that I can't I can't reach otherwise. Have I have I sold it too short chat? Actually protected me from that grenade. Yay, I got rotten meat! Yeah, Soma is not all a card, water does not hurt him. However, Soma from the onset of the game can only float. And they do they do something really cool with uh with the way like water accessibility works in this. Two cool things. Okay. Soma's hot, dude. Soma is so hot. Soma is so hot. Hey. Oh, hello. I mean, Graham's not bad either. For if we're being honest here. Uh, hi. You, you human, aren't you? Relax, my name is Graham. Let's just say I'm a missionary. Oh, I'm Soma, Soma Cruz. You weren't here in this shrine before, were you? How did you get here? I'm not sure, I went through the shrine gate and boom, I was here. I see. Uh, can I ask you a question? Guy looks like a televangelist. That's the point. Go ahead, I don't mind. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is. But isn't Dragon's Castle in Europe somewhere? What's up, Shadows? Good to see you tonight. In the oh, quick reminder for anybody coming in at this point, don't spoil any of the reveals in this. There are inevitably gonna be people in the audience who don't know what's coming up. Uh, and this this one probably has some of the best like like story twists of any of the Castlevania games, so. Uh, in theory, yes, but his true castle exists somewhere else. His true castle? 
Yes, it's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires? Well, no, I thought the story of Dracula was made up, actually. No, it's all true. It was leaked to the outside world. Usually, the church handles these things with utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula is resurrected many times, when people lost faith and craved chaos and destruction. So, are you trying to tell me now that Dracula has been resurrected? No, Dracula perished in 1999. You know of the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Nostradamus' great prophecy? That's right, Dracula was resurrected exactly as he, Nostradamus, predicted. But vampire hunters destroyed him completely. Didn't know it was possible, did you? Because it's not. They ended his regeneration cycle by sealing his castle, the symbol of his demonic power, inside the darkness of of an eclipse. Don't think about that too hard, chat. Just, just don't question it. And that eclipse is where we are now? Yes, but there's still more to the story. There's more? In the year 2035, a new master will come to the castle and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... Yes, that time is now. I better get going. Is that all then? Oh, yes. Thank you. Farewell and be careful. Yes, you too. Uh, is that something you do at previous Castlevania? No. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, Konami basically abdicated the Castlevania series before they got to make the 1999 game. They really should have. They really, really should have. It's probably... It's probably the biggest plot point in the entire series that gets no screen time. This chapel seems a little haunted, chat. Mr. Thomas accurately predicted that a thing would happen in a place. Genius! Let's talk about Y2K the whole time anyway. 1999 game would never lived up to what everyone imagines it is. I suppose not. I suppose not. Castlevanias do seem to benefit from just, like, being surprises every time. Like, whatever, whatever they decide the new plot is. There's no, there's no real preconceived notions about which, what each Castlevania is. Sometimes you play as Belmont, sometimes you play as somebody else. Sometimes you play as a bad guy turned good guy. Some, sometimes you play as this exceptionally hot goober. But yeah. Finally succeeding cramming their heads up their own asses before 1999 came could happen. Their heads have been comfortable. Sad but true. Destroying the candelabra out of habit? Yes. I, I can't stop. I couldn't stop if I wanted to, which I don't, so I'll keep doing it. Forever. Sometimes you play as a guy named Juice. There is a plot! There is a plot, and this is the good one, in fact. Does it actually, it doesn't keep track. Oh no, it does keep track of how many souls you have. There's no point to that. Like, one, ow, that rock hurt. I can throw boners, chat. I can inflict my boners upon others. Whee! Does this have, does this have the super boner? Smack. No, there's children here. What do we got? We got, oh shit, we got a manticore. Chop, chop, chop. Don't stab me. Don't stab me. Chop, chop, chop. Don't stab me. Chop, chop. Don't stab me. Early bosses aren't the smartest in this.
Uh, we actually got a soul off of him, which is super cool. Transforms into a magical beast that rushes at enemies. Dab. Yeah, unfortunately, this game's a lame mana core. Crappy mana core. Chop, chop, don't stab me. Just sounds like every fight is Souls game in a nutshell. <laughs> Actually, let's try that. I'm surprised we got a new blue soul this early. How it work? What it do? How it be? Holy, what the fuck was that? Okay, that was cool. That's gonna be super cool, and I wanna play with that. And nice silk robe. Ooh! Ooh, secret. I thought there was something up here. Money! Isn't there an item that bases stats on how many souls you, you uh, collected? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Dawn of Sorrow is a cool manticore, okay. I don't think it's a random drop. I think it's a late game item. Embarrassingly long before you filled that square. It's not, it's not an easy one. Just kind of, hello. Okay, I can't reach that. At the, oh Christ. Well, that's not very friendly at all, Quetzalcoatl. Took you until actual end game. Okay, if we can get some enemies, oh God, Fleeman. Ah, uh, these stupid, if there weren't these stupid holes in the ground, I would try out the, the, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, we're gonna, we, nope, we're gonna kill you. All right, let's see this thing in action. Whoa! Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Uh, I don't want to fuck with that guy. Morgan Fleeman. It was a good 70 percent or so into it before you filled it in. So yeah, Metro Vans, I tried the demo for the new Prince of Persia. is actually pleasantly surprised. I've been hearing good things about it. Manticore is cooler than I remember it being. Yeah, that's a really cool soul. A little bit, yeah, the mana cost is prohibitive. It's a, it, and it's a tricky one to use because it has a big wind up on it. All right, we're in, we're in literally uncharted territory now, chat. But goddamn, is it cool. And really, if, if you're not, if you're not playing a, a Metroidvania for the rule of cool, what are you doing? Big Chunga Skull. Oh shits. Nice. Suck it, bone pillar. Can I legit want to pick up the full game and gave you a pretty positive impression? Nice. 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 Can't, you, you can't have one of these castle, you can't have a GBA Castlevania without pushing crates, chat. You just, you can't, it's not allowed. Imagine on Chris Potion takes like milk of magnesia. Yeah, I can see that. I could see that. Man, of course, Sprite was dope. It's a shame I had the worst boss fight I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> not, definitely not an impressive one. I mean, naturally, like, in Castlevania's early game bosses end up being regular enemies later, but, like, usually they got some something more going on than that. Like, that Man Accord didn't even move. And I just like his U 2D platform and forced me to use the analog stick instead of the D-pad. It's really not that bad. Spooter Lady! Suffer my boner! Oh, damn! That was lucky! I got the Arachne Soul. Man, it's such a good feeling when you go through these new areas and you get like a handful of souls just like first try. Feels good. Splat. Yep, now I can shoot sticky stuff. Damn it. Damn you. The power, yeah, that one, that one extra point of luck doing work. 
Do a boss fight as a frozen semi the night is fucking rad. Oh yeah, um uh Slogger and Gaibon, right? Play Man Souls to make all the monsters cuss you out inside. God damn it! Explort, explort, explort. Ha ha! Secret. Yay, is that watermelon? That, well, it's melon. Nothing watery about it. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, I don't like, I've never liked these enemies. I mean, they're, they're good enemies. <laughs> but they are very stressful because they have irregular patterns and they curse you. I love how they fight, fight Fleeman in the Netflix series. They're uh, both hating the ever-loving shit out of the whole fight. I really want to watch the, the Netflix series. Poor student witch. Poor student witch. Hello. Oh, she's hot too. Oh, she's hot too. Hey, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Go do that, wait, I don't have Netflix, is the thing. And I'm already subscribed to Disney and Paramount, so I don't, I don't need another streaming service at the moment. Eventually, eventually we're gonna get Netflix for like a month and we're gonna watch One Piece and I'm gonna watch Castlevania and maybe some other stuff, but you know, not now. Yes, but who are you? Oh, forgive me, I'm Yoko. Bell... Bell names? Bell names. I've never been sure how to pronounce their, their family name. Bell names? I remember the church. I would remember the church recognized me. Spanish me? Spanishly? Bell de... Bell de... What? Bell de... de there, but there's, there's only one D in it, though. Belnades. You met Alec uh, Mangenia Arikado, right? All right. The the astute members of the audience will now will now know Genya's terrible secret. <laughs> Yoko, he said no spoilers. God damn it! Tall, dark, and magical. Who could have? Who who would have thought? He's apparently taken to dyeing his hair. I did meet him, but he told me about you and asked me to help you if you're in trouble. Ricardo said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you say my powers are dark? You mean you didn't know that? Uh... <laughs> Oh, no, did I say, uh, why, which, well, what's said is said. Essentially, you have the power to rule over and command monsters. It's like a Pokemon trainer. It's, it's, it's nothing dark about that, unless you'd start thinking about the whole, you know, animal fight thing. Rule over monsters, I have no desire to do that. It comes as naturally as breathing for you, so you may not realize it yet. And though I called it a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. Its user decides whether to use it for good or evil. You now, when you put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Since I got this power, I've been I've begun to lose my sense of self. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second guess yourself. Be confident. That's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. Giggle. I'm not used to being thanked by people. Because she hangs out with Genya. I forgot to ask you, have you seen a man named Graham? Graham? Yes, I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe that he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way! He did not look like a bad guy. Right, and I've got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think he is. Ah, uh, all right. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. 
See you around. They did such a good job hiding it. Allusion didn't even have white hair, right? Should watch the new 3D Resident Evil movie. It's just as shitty as entertaining as the others. Yeah, I should see. I should watch that. Vendetta is still hilarious to me. Like, oh my god, that movie was so hilariously bad. Sorry, so much you damn pure. Some of that being able to turn into a giant demon was nor- Yeah! <laughs> I mean, you can do this! <laughs> What's so dark about that, anyway? People do that kind of thing all the time. I mean, uh, it- <laughs> <laughs> with Yoko. <laughs> That'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. Oh man, double big hearts? Get all my mana back. Nice. Oh, 50 bucks. 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Ah, uh, it's not set. It's random. Uh, well, there's a boss. Hello. Can you solve the puzzle, chat? Can you crack the code? And I just turn into a little morning dove. I do that when I'm mad at video games. Only on Thursdays, like I never get the hang of Thursdays. Is it demon time? No, you just backdash through it. <laughs> Lol. Hey, we got another blue soul. The Catop Catopopus? Catopopus? Catoblepus. Catoblepus. Breathes a petrifying cloud into the air. And I can't get the hell up there. So ironically, I did all that to just get a soul. Yeah, basically the power of bad breath. I mean, shit, I'll take it. Since I don't innately have that power, chat. Cat of blood pass. <laughs> Where was the save room? All right, the save room was a bit of a haulback, just in case. I I do not I do not wish to be. You know what? You know what? Oh God damn it! You can't do it there. Weed breaths and the stones. Grind out a quick booer soul. Have that power after you can gargle. <laughs> Alright, the booer is also particularly well animated in this one. Actually, it looks rather threatening. Okay, the answer is no. No, I cannot. Uh, grind out a quick booer sp uh, soul. Shit. Shit. Uh, I didn't check what was down here. What's down here? Ah, oh, there's a neat book and I want it. But it is not mine to take, chat. All right, let's go boss it up. I actually don't remember a lot of the bosses in this game. Now, now that I'm thinking about it. Ow, dick. Ow, don't throw cats at me. Like I don't, I, I like I can't think of what this boss is gonna be. The catuple passes poison breath, according to legend, comes from eating solely toxic plants. It's obviously a monster. Ob obviously, God. All right, what do we got? Dun 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 dun. Ooh, big armor. Big chungus armor that ow. <laughs> Ow, 
Ow, okay. Doing doing this with a combat knife is probably not the smartest, but Ugh. I should try not getting hit. That is, you know, I think you might be onto something there. Stabo. Damn it! You guys getting hit by the huge ass sword? It's all like it all does the same damage. Unfortunately, contact contact damage on this guy. Are, are you are you done? Okay. Contact damage on this guy is the same as getting hit by a sword. Kind of sad, but we win. What's up? That's pretty good armor, Dave. If only he covered his feet a bit better. He's pretty hot too. I mean, they're all pretty hot. Oh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? Child, you're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma. <laughs> I thought I was inspecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? Looks like Vladimir Lenin. <laughs> so I just bailed on my mission. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Come on, good for you. There are weapons all over this castle and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by, I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> Even his animation, that's pretty solid. Shop, huh? I don't get it. Boom! Double jump. Just like that. Hardly an hour into the game, chat, and we've got double jump. It's that simple. Now, honestly, honestly, to me, that is the mark of a good Metroidvania. If they are, if they are giving you, if they're giving you mobility powers early, like that means they have a great deal of confidence that like they have greater wonders to show you. Cool portrait in the room. A lot of, there's a lot of unique backgrounds in this, uh, and a lot of them are really interesting. Okay, she actually told him to go. GBA sound chip almost as unique as the, as the Mega Drive. Whip sword. Whip sword. All right, I'll show you this one. It's much weaker. It's much weaker than the combat knife, but it's got a hell of a range on it. Also, so I'm a dumbass. I didn't realize I could have just climbed up here earlier. I could have had this for that boss fight and not gotten hit at all. This is what it's taking longer. Actually, maybe we'll use it for a while. It's not like it's not like I really need to be min-maxing damage right now or anything. By the way, these little things, these little spiky skulls, totally invulnerable. Can't kill them with anything. Can you combine the double jump of the wings? You sure can. You absolutely can. To marvelous effect. You can practically fly. I just want the whip to be flaccid. I think I think we all miss Super Castlevania 4's super flappy whip. But you know what? What is gone is not forgotten. We can always return to it in our own times. Yes, you you can you can pretty effectively sequence sequence breaks, sequence break with flying armor. Uh, I think we can. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. Haha. <laughs> yeah, she was a student audit. Have we done with her witch thesis? Well, she should have should have spent more time studying and less time harassing hot guys with her combat cats, okay? Hey. 
should really play this one. You should, Newhauser. This is... Gonna remind you again, chat. This is my favorite Castlevania game of all time. I I fully believe the series peaked here. Excellent castle design, excellent character and monster design, cool power system, good exploration, good weapons. Really neat progression of powers, like like I still think I I still think it's very remarkable that the second ability you get in the game is double jump. That they just give you that like an hour in and like shit goes crazier from there. Got a new phone today because my old one sucks ass. Got very throttled by Samsung. Don't like having to fight cute witches. You don't have to fight them. I mean, you can just ignore them. There's no, there are no cute witch bosses from what I recall. Sometimes 10 plus seconds to swap the message to the phone. Oh God, that's awful. That's real bad, yeah. Heart pendant. The hell does this do? Heart shaped pendant. Uh, oh, maintains luck, but increases defense by one. I'll take it. I think I picked up... Oh yeah, I picked up a cape. Doesn't matter. Last me to say that this exceeds the perfection of Castlevania 64. I thought for sure some people get mad at me for, for choosing this over Symphony of the Night. But I think, I think Symphony of the Night... I think a lot of people give give Symphony of the Night uh, extra credit for being the first one. And like having that extra layer of novelty. Both 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 in the format, like, you know, this this bold new format for Castlevania games and also with the advent of the Upside Down Castle. But man, like Damn, spitting souls. Giant ghost protect provides a protective barrier. That's interesting. Symphony of the Night also has a wider audience due to platform. That is true. Yes, Symphony of the Night was more accessible to people for the longest time. I mean, now this now this is on Steam, so it's it, thankfully it is out there now. Um, let's see, Giant Ghost. Let's see, Evil Butcher. I still don't have a yellow soul. That's weird. Yes, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, the GBA, ca the, like, Castlevania Advance Collection, I think. You can get this Circle of the Moon and Harmony of Dissonance for, like, 20 bucks. Yeah, Symphony is not actually on Steam, is it? Is it? I don't think it's part of any of the collections, right? Only on PlayStation. All right, Durga. Hot sword lady. Everyone's so hot, chat. Ow! Ow, cat! I need a protective bit. Oh, that's cool. I think it reduces damage. I don't think it prevents you from taking damage. I think, I think the ghost shield reduces damage. I got a bastard of a sword. Uh, same damage, but not as it, not as much range. Also part of the Dracula X remake on PSP. I feel like all the recent parts of something, uh, recent ports of something the night have had some minor issue or another. Symphony of the Night on Series X is 10 bucks. Hammer! So, your standard hammer. Attack goes from 34 to 52. Oh, it is slow, though. The recovery on this is agony. I'm gonna try using it, but... Ghost Shield also deflects uh, projectiles. Interesting. Even it's just the voices suck now or no cheesy ending song. Yeah, I love, I love arcing weapons in these games. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're one-shotting things, it kind of doesn't matter how slow it is. Everybody, I've ne- no, I've never played the Saturn version of Symphony of the Night. Yeah, I know it has, I think, two new areas? 
I've always wanted to. Oh shit. Oh god, I hate this guy. Friggin' zombie officers. Splort. Yeah, someday I'm gonna play Saturn Symphony of the Night. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can use flying armor to get up there. Like, double... Double jump doesn't do it, but double jump... God damn it. That was my moment of triumph! There we go. And... Great. Uh... Okay, well, first things first, I'm gonna swap out for, uh... A whip. Ow. Well, I'd rather get hit by him than the damn officer. Ah, he doesn't stay on his platform. He actually goes just flying off. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, that skeleton crunching sound. I love it. I was drop their weapons. Worth killing them for the drop chance. Yeah, I remember they have, they have a pretty strong sword. I'll feel more comfortable doing that after I get back to a save point. Oh yeah, um, the traditional dagger comes from the uh, evil butcher. And the snow doesn't slow my most dangerous gamer deck. I will be praying for you. All right, so that's the main cathedral hall. Good old dancing ghosts. A classic Castlevania standby. Ooh! Mmm! Various landmines throughout its turf. So basically, I can plant these things now. I can plant them and they will do my bidding. <laughs> portal. Yes, I will portal. Hot take throwing knives are objectively too cool, so designers conspire to make them bad. I wonder, like, I feel like with with ranged weapons in predominantly melee-based combat games. I think there's always a fear of making them too powerful. And I think I think that's happened for far too long with the Castlevania games. I feel like they've always just been afraid of making the daggers too helpful because they're the easiest to use. It just shoots straight ahead. It's the most basic of projectiles, you know? Like the, the ax, you need to judge the arc. The holy water, you need to actually like land it on a surface. The cross has limited range, though honestly, that doesn't limit its appeal that much. Yeah, it always, it always felt like they were just afraid of making daggers too good. Ritual of the Night daggers are nice since you get projectile from it, yes. Cestus, I got a punch weapon. Yeah, punchy gloves. Cross bear and the daggers. Dagger item crash busted as fuck. Um, uh, yes? If you get them all to hit. Quick fist those enemies. Wait, what? <laughs> We're doing what now? Is that, actually wait, is that, is that something? I might as well go see what Hammer's selling. Oh, she's better. Okay. Okay. Oh, that means welcome back. Welcome back, Soma. Hey. What? That man over there. Who, you mean Hammer? His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? No, I think he's a decent guy. 
And look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop. Here? He's opening a shop in this castle? He's weird. Yeah, it's pretty strange. If you say he's a good guy, I'll believe you. That means be careful. Howdy there, you came. This is where you've opened your shop? Yes, yes it is. By the way, that cute young lady over there, she's staring at you. Is she your friend? Yeah. Whoa, I had no idea you're so popular with the ladies. You look so plain after all. Hey, it's not like that. He's bald macho man. Don't be shy now, you hear? It's good to be young. It's a good thing. Alrighty, back to business. Take a look around, friend. What you got? Oh god. Extreme close up. Alright, well I will take a castle map too. Um Remember war fatigue is being pretty useful in the early game. This increases attack, defense, and strength. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna cash in on some war fatigues. Fashions change in 2035. There we go. Older some of Leon Kennedy fanfic should exist. Oh, they should, yeah. All right, uh, that filled in the tower area near here. So I guess that'll be where we're going next. I didn't make it to the top of the cathedral. I wonder if I should. Let me go save in the main hall. And then I think we'll pop back to the cathedral real quick. Just to see if there's anything important that I missed. Now the armor you saw in the one room you told us to remind you of? Oh, uh, actually, no, I don't think I can get that. I think you need more than a double jump for that. That one's pretty excessive. I like it. Um, let's see here. Give me that. Give me that boner. Skeleton bones are really good for finding uh, secret passages above you, because they got that high, high arc. There's a piece of armor in the the middle area, those those three by two rooms. One of those rooms has a piece of armor that I couldn't reach. And I did, yeah, that one in that room. <laughs> and I, I don't want to forget about it because if I remember correctly, it's good armor. But I think you actually need more than double jump to get it. What do you think of the glyph system? I liked the glyph system except for how you get them. Like on paper, the idea that there's actually a strategy element to capturing glyphs is neat. In practice, it's a giant pain in the dick. The armor icon was was red chest plate, yes. Yes it was. Oh, actually I think that was it, because I don't I don't think I have any way to climb up the main the main room. Also, good evening, Del Polo. Good to see you tonight. So yeah, I ended up getting really pissed off at the glyph system by the end of Order of Ecclesia. Um, because there were so many... Like... It, it's an either-or thing. You either you either make glyphs rare drops off of enemies, or, or you have, like like a strategic way of getting them that that has a failure state. But they did both. Not like imagine imagine if every time a soul appeared on the screen, I had to do some button combination to get it. Like imagine grinding for some soul that you've wanted for god knows how long and you finally get it 
and you you have to to mess up the the uh, the skill check to get it. I like stealing enemy spells that cast them as a No, no doubt. It it absolutely was. But but it definitely had its drawbacks. This game was in the Bachelor GB at Rob's my cousin game as a kid. Based on reputation, I never bothered to try any other Castlevanias. Should probably replay it. I mean, this is this is my favorite Castlevania of all time. I fully believe the series peaked with this one. I like there's so many there's so many things there's so many elements about this game that are just best in class. Um, that being said, the other two GBA Castlevanias, like, they have, they have their place. Ooh, a lance. Um, that is a lot of damage, Jesus Christ. That's 53. Weapons being glyphs kind of, uh, bugged you a little too. It's a bit slow, but it's still, it still has some decent reach on it. Circle of the Moon is a good one. Um, it feels different than the others. It has, it honestly has like darker airs to it. Um, it can be fairly challenging. The, the special ability system in Circle of the Moon is ass. It is bad. Um, and that's probably its greatest failing. There's one very aggressive bat back there. Do you see it? It's just like watching us. But I think I think the atmosphere and some of the some of the enemy design in Circle of the Moon makes up for it. Harmony of Dissonance is not great. It's interesting, but it is definitely not great. It's easily the weakest of the three GBA Castlevanias. But I mean, there's such a like there's such a discrepancy. Like on GBA, you have you have the best Castlevania. You have a contentious Castlevania, and then you have a passable Castlevania. It's not like it's not like DS, where you have three good Castlevanias. Testing all the glyph combos is fun too, and the wind stone fists were so damn fun. There were some there were some really, really neat glyphs. No doubt. Some and that was another thing though. Some of the neatest ones are, like come very late in the game. He's hot, too. Actually, I want you to think about this for a second, chat. If, if you shaved all of his hair off, would he just be Hammer? <laughs> I feel like I've seen that face before. Strange, I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? Oh no, everyone is hot. This is getting bisexual thirst trap. God Christ, yes. Soma is so hot. This is Ega's self -insert. Couldn't be, doesn't have a cowboy hat. It is rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. People call you Jay? I hide your real name. Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I'm told that I was in an accident in 1999. Mr. J. <laughs> when I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and my past. Would <laughs> you fucking cop someone? He doesn't need the cowboy eyes, the whole Western duster. It's true, it's true. He's, he's got the whole fit going on. Oh, I see. Well, my name's Soma. I get. I bet Soma feels like such an asshole right now. Your dark power. Were you born with it? Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. <laughs> Mr. J! Why have you come to this castle? Call me J. I am filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I have felt like my memory is returning. I know, but I was born with this fabulous hair. 
And your accident occurred in 1999. Maybe Dracula was involved. You think? I fear you are correct, especially since I have magical powers. Everyone keeps saying I have a dark power. It's really weird. And I'm just trying to cope with puberty still. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that, but I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes, see ya. Mr. J. This writing. No! The pain. Ooh. Durga dropped gym clothes. So Dracula is horrible evil, like real power of darkness shit. Why does he still only account? You think he'd at least be Duke Dracula by now? I think he kind of gave up on going by titles a long time ago. Like when, when you're just out to dominate all of humanity, like what need have you for titles anyway? Uh, do I want to go in here? Hang on, how's this place laid out? This place is a big old clusterfuck. Um, all right, I think I know what we want to do. I think the first thing we want to do is go go down to the dance hall dungeon. Let's see what's this way. <gasps> Jumping while taking damage restores health. That's a really weird soul, but I'll take it. I finally have a, a yellow soul. So if you get hit in mid- Hey, we know this guy. It's Mr. Creaky Skulls. Taste of your own medicine. So if you want to grind out that guy's soul, this is where you do it. Oh fuck, it's a wooden golem. Ow, he kicked rocks at me, chat. That uppercut, that uppercut hurts like a motherfucker. That uppercut is the damage. Just jump attack everything. I wonder how this works. I wonder if this works. Yeah, it 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 absolutely eats you. If we were outside, it would send you into the stratosphere. Doesn't you jump into that uppercut and it heals like a motherfucker then? Uh, yeah, I don't- I honestly don't know how this one works. I can't say I've ever used it. There- there are some extremely useful gold souls. And I don't recall this being one of them. Worst translation ever, it means you won't get knocked backwards by attack damage is unchanged. Oh, okay. That is the... Jumping while taking damage was for his health. Okay, that's straight up localization error. They really fucked that up. All right, so he came all his way for 500 bucks. Instant recovery from hit stun, yeah. Like, as, as you said, Arcane. As you most astutely put it. Kind of want a game where those strategies just jump into everyone's attack. Some games, I can't, I can't think of the last one I played like this, but some games have really bonkers, like off the wall abilities like that. And they can be really fun because you end up with like a very, very different meta than, uh, than most games of their ilk. Big chunky skeleton. No, don't hit me. Ow. Level up. So unfortunately, I can't get that because I can't slide yet. I always read level up like the Altered Beast announcer. <laughs> I 
I haven't seen a translation that messed the mark since the, uh, that missed the mark that bad since attack when its tail is up. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII localization sure is something. All right, we got boss chat. We got boss sign. And we got save sign. Chrono Cross localization legit impresses you. Chrono Cross is kind of an important lesson in localization. Like, yes, for the most part, it's very, very good. But it's an excellent case study in why you don't write accents and dialects into the dialogue. Like, I think that game alone saved a lot of localization groups from making the same mistake. Holy Jesus Christ! This guy is huge! Now this guy is different from the armor dudes because he's not armored. Like you can just hit him wherever you want. It is it is a big golem at that. But you mean you always make the Kara say y'all if they if they say Oira. Never really got confused by it, but I can see it being a thing. It's not a matter of confusion, it's a matter of being obnoxious. Like, diet, like writing in dialect and forcing, forcing the reader to parse what, like, what non-standard phrasing actually means over and over and over again, it can get exhausting. Our third power is the ability to slide. So you might have noticed the thing. That thing. I wish I could do this right now, but this is one of... One of two or three ultra rare enemies in the game. This is the only room that it appears in. There it is. Suchinoko. I can't do enough damage to, to kill it right now, but you want to talk about an obnoxious soul to grind. Because you basically need, need to go in and out of that room over and over and over again until it's surfaced, and then you need to rush, you need to rush over and kill it. But yeah, in, uh, in Japanese folklore, Suchinoko is like a super rare, like, serpent thing. I forget the actual lore behind it, but it, it's basically a Japanese cryptid. That wasn't the one that really annoyed you. Just put it on podcasts, I grinded. I mean, I got it. I don't remember what it does, actually. Now we can get that high potion. Can't say which one because of spoilers and another one of the rare ones. Want me to tell you? No, it's okay. Uh, well, I guess now we can explore the rest of this area. It's totally good. I don't, yeah, I don't even remember what it does. So, you know, going for folklore, I think is a really thick snake that lives around Kansai, gets drunk as fucking lies to humans because it's funny. 
Ah, kind a kindred spirit then. Ow. Oh, oh. Oh. I gotta cut all. It's gonna cut it all. That's not my equipment screen. Short sword for stabbing. Attacker from 58 to 46. Not very impressive. Hammer is still more powerful than Lance, but only by two points, so. We pretty much we pretty much already like outmoded the hammer. Yeah, unfortunately, like, um, double jump plus flying armor doesn't actually get you any more height on your jumps. It'll just get you more distance. Some legends also say that it will swallow its own tail, become wheel-shaped, and just roll around. That's cool. I mean, if that was a thing I could do, I'd definitely do that. Yeah, only lets you retain height. Well said. Silly Quetzalcoatl. Ah, uh, invisible sword person. Every Castlevania has to have the invisible sword person in it. And sometimes they really suck. Not this time, thankfully. All right, found another fast travel point. Um... I don't really feel the need to use right now. Similar to hoop snakes in American folklore. You know, I don't even care. Bye. <laughs> I'm not sitting around waiting for that shit. Invisible swords person can be annoying or something. Yeah, definitely. Basically, if if invisible sword the worst is when they're really hard. Like, when it's really, really hard to predict or understand their movements. Because you can't... you can't see them. They're, they are the invisible sword person. <coughs> so it becomes really frustrating... To, to maneuver around them to actually do damage. And then, if they do a ton of damage on top of that... They become, like, just really frustrating to deal with. That's open. I think that's the way we need to go. So I'm gonna go up. I appreciate, like, one of my favorite things about this game is I really like the castle layout. Like, I know when we played, when we played Circle of the Moon and Harmony of Dissonance, we talked a lot about castle layout because both of them have issues with their castle layouts. Not this game. I really love the way this castle is laid out. It has distinct areas. They have multiple connections between each other. The fast travel rooms are are well spaced out. There's lots of save rooms. There's a lot to love. Theorize it. Ooh, hello. Theorize the Sushinokos are misinterpreted cats. What with being short and fat and having a skinny tail. I got samurai armor, chat. Um, all the same stats of the war fatigues, except five more points of defense. I'll take it. Yeah, maybe we want one or two more fast travels, but that's about it. Yeah, there's, I think the big thing is there's no, like, there's no crippling deficiencies in the map. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have the weird limited connections of Circle of the Moon, and it doesn't have those absolutely fucking obnoxious dead ends and confusing links between castles that uh, Harmony has. By the way, did you notice that uh, curry slinging skeleton there? Truly a fan favorite. For some reason, I'm just imagining some Japanese guy in the 1700s seeing a cat do a fucking spin dash, thus swallowing its tail and rolling around. I 
I felt like I was having to run around just a bit too much, not horribly so, but not enough to notice it. Well, that is where the soul system comes back in. Because there is a soul that very much alleviates a lot of the, the ooh. Alle alleviates a lot of that roll, uh, running around. Something is a nightmare for Dracula to navigate the bathroom every time. What's up, Drake Nell? What was that? That was army jacket. Um, Attack and strength down, three points of defense. Not worth the trade, I think. <laughs> Bleh, I need to empty my blood cooler, but I can't find the royal bathroom. Uh, oh, right, I can stand on him. Well, let's stand on him and get our get ourselves up here. Ah, oh, this is an interesting one. We can stand on these too. And that got me that mana prism. Mana prism. What do you think all the vases are? I think evil dolls curse you. Mr. Waiter Skellington. Dracula absolutely shits in vases. <laughs> oh, this room sucks. This room sucks. It's only worth... Oh, well, it's worth $100. $100 of pain, but I'll take it. Alright. Alright, so we checked up there. Cool. No, not your head! What were you thinking? Obviously it wasn't. So that's another thing that I love uh, about Aria of Sorrow in particular. Like, all Castlevanias have, uh, have goofy shit in them, right? But the enemies in Castlevania have just like a, a, a special level of charm to them. Yes, now we get a real yellow soul. The Minotaur increases strength by eight. That is straight up more damage. So it seems like strength is added directly to your attack. Like your your attack value is like your weapon strength plus your strength. Appreciate the Street Fighter references in this one. Goddamn one off from having 69 strength. Yeah, I just I just need to level up. Just let me let me let me get that next level up and we'll be everything will be nice. Yeah, it's actually a lot more damage now. Taking down Minotaurs in three hits instead of four. Soma does not fuck. Soma canonically does not fuck. Wow, I just got another one too. New area chat! What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? The inner quarters. Yo, Kusa. Fucking kung fu maids. This theme is great, yeah. It's a neat area visually, like with the with the enemies and the. The background music has got a really cool vibe to it. Aha! I knew it! I knew it. May yeah, Meizu Chun Li stuff. Jared's Persephone Soul. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. Uh, invisible Sword Lady! Persephone Soul is like a like a like a kung fu rush, right? I think that was pretty powerful. Chat, this might be a very interesting hallway. Pay attention. Yep. This one's fucking cool. I like this one. Pew. 
Pew. <laughs> That's the word, though. <laughs> Yokoso. That motherfucker. Zagreus on his way to fuck her shit. <laughs> no, it's back. Oh, the vac. Oh, God, you're right. The vacuum cleaner. I totally forgot about the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, no, I did use that. It's kind of hard to use. But a neat concept. So anyway, the white rabbit there uh, needs, if I remember correctly, needs a specific soul to get around. Oh, it's boss time. Here we go, Chad. What do we got? Oh, this boss is cool. I like this one. It's the headhunter. I think I confused her. Mada, mada. Whoa, Nelly. Ow. Blech. And then it just doesn't talk to you anymore, because it's like, I'm just gonna fuck you up. <laughs> God, I thought I broke its AI. God damn it. I will murder you with boners if I have to. Boom, there we go. No, all my heads. Oh, there you go. Collect souls to increase strength. It's the headhunter soul. Oh. Actually, there probably is an item too that does that, but there's a soul that will increase your stats in proportion to how many souls you have found. Remind us some dude wizards you one who legit goes, what the hell are you doing in my room? Piss off and teleports you out of the dungeon. Ah, oh, terrible action shot. Imagine fursuits, uh, IRL where it's easy to just remove your head to put on anthro head, right? That's not a Durga, that's a... Curly. Why the hell is she named Curly? She looks like fucking Ashura. Why is her name Curly? Now I got Valkyries. Curly's got the good soul. I. Uh, oh, Kali. Oh, damn. I never put that together. Oh, shit. These disc armors are bastards. Curly Mo and Larry Soul. Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, hopefully we'll get and find out. Yeah, Curly, I think is just a bad localization. It should be Kali. Yeah, whoever localized this game did a pretty poor job. Oh shit, we got his uh, we got his soul though. And also, I should check out see if that headhunter soul. Okay, so. Mm. I could get like one or two points across all my stats, except luck. Doesn't affect luck, at least at this level. Um, but my attack would drop precipitously, so I'm not gonna do that. But I do wanna try out disc armor. It's expensive. Karuri. Yo, there, Valk. Yeah. Oh yeah, disc armor, the, the disc armor soul is pretty powerful. Or Skellington. Yeah, if you keep their pattern in mind and you have like a weapon with some kind of range on it. Undine, walk on water surfaces. So this is the first of two water mobility powers, chat. Skybox is fucking sick. Yes, it is. So I love, oh fuck, what was that? 
That came out of light speed. I love the way they handle water in this game. Because there's two different powers you get. Normally when you jump in water, you just float. Undine lets you walk on water. It, it allows you to use it as a platform. And then, I mean, I don't think it's any real spoiler to tell you that later on you get a power that lets you swim underwater. And we got the hunting. Poison secreting sword. I'm not sure I've ever used this thing, actually. I don't know. Ooh, no, I have. No, I have. That's right. Does two points damage less than the lance. Has slightly less range, but comes out faster. And I think it, I think it does elemental. I think it does poison damage. Ah, oh, dang, the Maelstrom warning on the forecast. Dracula burn, bring the laundry in. No, it's just, it's just in this one tower. This, uh, this, this shitty storm is localized to just this one tower. Let, let me find you another window in a different part of the castle. It'll be nice and sunny. You'll see, you'll see the stars outside. Due to one of the Tales games dubbing, have no clue to say Undine. I always read Udini. Udini. Like you're a goddamn Jawa. Whoa, Curly. Where are we? All right. Curly transforms into a demon that rushes at enemies. That sounds familiar, doesn't it, chat? It's the same as the Manticore. I think, I think it might just be, yeah. You turn into Kali. I mean, it's powerful, no doubt, but yeah, unfortunately, it's just a carbon copy of Manicor. So, uh, neat mirrors in this room, right? Stab! I think this might be the only room the Kyoma Demon shows up in. It's a straight upgrade because she, because she's hot. There's a specific thing you use the Kali Soul for. All right, so here you go. Perfect use for the Undine Soul. So, okay. On the one hand, on the one hand, I appreciate that the soul system is fully integrated into the Metroidvania aspects of this game. That not You're not only looking for like the big gray abilities, like double jump and slide to get around, but there's also like blue souls and yellow souls that help you access different parts of the castle. That's all cool, that's great. It just sucks you gotta go into your menu and switch this shit around every time. <laughs> like, I really appreciate, like they, they Iga figured this out eventually. Um, in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, you actually, you, you can define entire sets of equipment and powers that you can swap between almost instantly. Do you get Larian Mosul? Sadly, no. Sadly, no. Cur Curly was the only one of the Stooges to succumb to uh, Dracula's wiles. Ow, all right, I'm getting tired of getting curly. Too many swords. Yeah, it's so, it's so nice to be able to hot swap between different builds. Oh, there's probably Kyoma Demon in here too. Yeah, Valkyries suck if you don't kill them instantly. There's one. I like him. He, ow! Fuck. He's a funny guy. Oh, this actually goes somewhere. Mm. Oh, it goes fast travel. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it is so much fun. Do not get, oh shit. The Valkyrie dropped her partisan. Nice. 
Persephone is a great enemy design, yeah. For sure. Oh, damn, this thing's strong. 72 to 81. It's a bit slow, but I can live with that. Do you want to get Valkyrie? I mean, I want to get all the souls eventually, but I'm not going to grind for them. We're going to, in in this playthrough, we're going to, we're going to use whatever we get. We're going to make the most of it. We've had, we've had quite a, quite a lot of good fortune so far already. <coughs> Alright, I think this goes both ways. Remember sticking with hunting for a while just because the combo damage and speed is so nice. Yeah, it's definitely a very effective weapon. Yo, Yo, She's just... <laughs> just dropped. Oh, shit. Okay. We got Lilith's. Lilith alert. I got another partisan. Damn. God damn it. There we go. Absorb enemies HP with a magical item. Check this shit out, chat. Shit. <laughs> okay. Actually, I probably should do that. Liliths are kind of dangerous. Good enough, you'll have a hole is in. Yeah, dude, the, Perse the Persephone vacuum is so funny. I'm so glad you reminded me of that one. It's hilarious. Okay, we're gonna pass down through here just for map completion. I might I might see if that piece of armor is down here. No, I don't I don't think it's like right here or anything. I don't just knows the film's name Hands the Hands of Fate. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't here. I think it's in the next room. Actually, can I even get back up there? You want to think about it? I might have fucked it, chat. Oh, I think I fucked it. <laughs> what if we go from up here? Nope, shit. Okay, hang on. Christ's sake. For the first time in about a year and a half uh, being here, we got snow. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I got a strawberry from her. Got a little here, too. Thankfully, the big storm misses. It's just too cold. I, I am not going to complain about the weather here. It's cold. Colder than we're used to in Los Angeles, certainly, but it's really not that bad. All right, now we got now we got big time pro witch here. Oh Jesus Christ! The student witches still haven't learned the lessons though. It's shorts weather. We're at 11 inches of snow. It's currently minus 12. Oh my God, dude! Stay safe. That is a lot. That's a lot to deal with. Top floor! We're here already, chat. We've made it. We've arrived. Except we haven't, because I can't get my ass up there. Managed to get to 38 in South Texas. So now we're back over here. I just didn't come up here for some reason. Strange. Ooh. Is your ass too big to fit? No, my my ass is not spry enough. Yo, I just realized how good the background is out those windows. That is some fancy ass like sprite work back there. 
Boss have any of the in the background bosses? I don't think so, no. I don't recall any. I missed a couple things back up there, but I mean, we're, we're gonna have to go back up to the living quarters eventually anyway. Let's go this way. It's 33, I hope my family brought plants indoors. Oh yeah, seriously. I still went to work today, Iowa huffs mega glue when it comes to weather city. Oh, you're in Iowa, oh damn. Dragnell has, ha, I, like, I don't know how far reaching this shit is. Um, because I live in California, we're, in a sense, immune to it. Um, were people losing their goddamn minds in Iowa this weekend because of the, uh, the primary? Skeleton Knight, strength increased by four. We actually got the better version of this already. Wind is murderous. Yeah. Rough stuff. I think at this point I might as well go back into the chapel and see what I missed there. So this partisan is just annihilating everything. Bunch of MAGA hood man. That's gotta be so obnoxious. Yeah, Iowa primaries. Cringe. Hopefully they all froze. We would be so lucky. Wince and cringe. Wince and cringe and wince and cringe. So I actually never came up here the last time. I just totally missed the, sec the ruined section of the chapel. Just kind of ignored it like an idiot. All internally frozen in their cold, dead hearts. Ah, oh, I love this shit. I love, I love the, the interactable bells. Oh, you can't climb up into that one. Ding dong. Bing bong. My mind is up, chat. Axe armor, guess what? It throws axes. I believe these are the very traditional axes. This game does the bells thing too, right? I mean, if you step on them, they ring. I don't think there's anything hidden in them. Not, not like, um, not, I don't think they, they do the symphony or the, the ritual thing. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh shit, okay. You cowbell fever. I got a bamboo sword. Yeah, I don't see anything up there of any particular note, so. Hate it here, wish you could move. I wish you could move too. I, like, the, the lack of mobility that so many people in this country suffer is a very regrettable thing. Because so, so many people are consigned to, to states and cities where they're just, you know, they, they feel out of place. They don't, they don't agree with what's going on and they lack the power to stop it or influence it in any, in any meaningful way. But at the same time, like moving just isn't an option, you know? And there's nothing, there's nothing fair about that. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is... Yeah, that's what we want to do. I'm to drop down to this. Get paid. I, it's just occurred to me, Chad. I don't think this game does wall chicken. I think, I think there's secret passages that you can bust open, but I don't think there's little sections of wall hiding items, from what I recall. I certainly haven't found any yet, if they do exist. Honestly, I count myself really lucky for managing to escape Missouri. 
Missouri. Yeah, I could see that being pretty tedious. Got rotten flesh, don't be picking. Best, best, my best friend lives in New Jersey. I keep shocking her with the lack of basic amenities we have out, out here. And it is shocking, too. It's shocking what some of these states do without just out of spite or laziness. Like, who can say sometimes? Due to hang out with you, told uh, told you pays 1200 for a room in his family's house. Man, do I wish I had a spare room to charge him like three to 400. Condor is like 1500. Yeah, that is the kind of person you want to grab as a roommate. Both, both for their sake and yours. Ow, I stepped on an oon. Rent out here is insane. We got a luck soul, chat. We got a luck soul, and you better believe I'm using it. Luck up by four. Attack's gonna take a hit, but you know what? Still one shot in things. Cannot get that last bit of air off of that. You call it Un, isn't it? Yeah, it. it une? I suppose. Hold me close, I'm a ghost dancer. <laughs> And in this one single moment, I'm, I, I am actually sad these souls don't stack. But I'm only saying that because we're not playing Dawn of uh, Sorrow. To be fair, they only say, look, how do I know this stat isn't lick? <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Welcome back. Hey, Mina. What's up? It's kind of late to ask, but what kind of shrine is the Hakuba Shrine? Soma, do you know the story of the, um, oh boy, Amano, Amanoi Wado Shrine? I think I've heard it before. In the story, uh, Tensho Daijin hides herself in the shrine to calm Susano down. Yeah, I remember now. Tensho Daijin is the sun. The act of hiding symbolizes an eclipse. By hiding herself away, she was able to contain Susano's anger. For that reason, eclipses are thought to confine anger and evil intentions. Yes, people have prayed to eclipses for centuries. And the Hakuba Shrine is a shrine for this very purpose. I understand now. And usually we only conduct ceremonies for Japan's eclipses, but in 1999, a ritual was conducted in Europe. Yes, that's what I was told. That's when Dracula's castle was sealed inside of it. That's why I knew the things that Mr. Arikado said were... Yes, I know now that he spoke the truth. I'm sorry, I haven't been much help to you. That's not true, I feel a bit relieved now. Thanks, Mina. I wonder if Hakuba is supposed to be Harker. May maybe a nod to it, yeah. The guy with the sword is like, the fuck you want? Oh, yep, the uh, expanded his offerings. I don't think we need anything at the moment. Guys, this is WWF wrestling. Sealing something inside an incidental time event is actually a cool idea. It is, isn't it? It is. Because if nothing else, you're you're limiting future exposure to it, you know. Because eclipses are relatively rare. Can't tell me this isn't WWF. Oh, I know. He he could totally come out to that theme. And Hammer is definitely a wrestling name, no doubt about that. So anyway, chat. Now that we have the Undine Soul. The next place that we have to go is pretty obvious. He's got Graham, the sword known as Graham. Graham, the legendary sword known as Graham. Some call it Graham. 
so we're basically just going... Hmm, wait. We're gonna go straight across. There is... I could go... I could, I could take the lower hall, but I think I'd just get, like, an item out of it. It won't really be worth doing until I get the other water power. Thought Graham was a cracker. That's rude! How dare you? I'm half expecting the King's Quest Alice King. Graham! A poisonous snake! So saying it's still in the eclipse sounds very silly. Yeah, again, the, the localization is not doing this game any favors. They really missed the mark on a lot of this stuff. I really want to grind this out right now, I could. I'm not sure this is worth doing. But I'll 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 give it a couple pokes and see what happens. Speaking of stupid sword names, Ogre Battle 64 is still my favorite for the Sum Mana Sword, or translated, I am a horse. There's a pair of tabletop RTBGs, Rhapsody of Blood, and then Void Heart Symphony, Symphony, which are basically not Castlevania, which turns in not SMT percent in the present day between one game and the next. Interesting. Get booer, you don't need Peeping Eye. I mean, in a perfect world, I get them all. It's it's the Pokemon effect. Don't grind it out on the stream like a bait. <laughs> Reminds me of the horse wiener item in disguise. Dude, the, the horse wiener item in disguise is so funny because it's right there in the beginning. It is right there. It's like it's practically like a starter weapon. That will never not be hilarious to me. Okay. So we want we want Undine for this. Look at me. Jesus Soma Christ in the flesh. Practically slaps you in the face. Now we can't get over there, but we can get up here. Where they have nice vases to break. And fucked up candelabres. I never believed the horse wiener was a real item until I looked it up. Premise of Rhapsody is a blood is castle the evil force and regularly come back to claim people as not Dracula agent. Sometime before the president gets broken, his shards are infecting the world in various places. Do <laughs> it. Ah! I thought I got a good night, uh, good night's sleep last night. Their <laughs> faces of shit. We've made it to the floating garden, chat. Why is it floating? I don't know. But that's a big ass chicken. Big Chungus Chicken. Big Chicken Gus. And yes, that chicken will fuck you up. That chicken will ruin your shit <laughs> between gardens full of giant cock. <laughs> Dramatic pose. Ta ya! Oh shit, oh fuck. I tripped, chat. I had a date like that once. <laughs> Kapow, level up. Wait, you don't have to be like this little devil man. Oh fuck. My big deal in the dialogue for the zombie fight is very memorable. This guy one item. In fact, that returns to this guy has six f some fun trivia. Got to revisit a late game stage. There's no indication the zombies there suddenly have this unique item. And we've evolved the penis jokes. We've achieved Zen this stream. Okay, so inter interesting thing about the floating gardens. So um, a bit of a spoiler about the layout to this place. It, no, they're a super fun area. Um, the core floating gardens area are four connected chambers right there in the middle of the castle. However, however, there are doors at the top left and the top right 
Then when you pass through them, they take you to actual like floating garden areas. Like you can see the background here, we're up above the clouds. So like that name, that name isn't just for fun. It's an actual floating garden. God damn disc armor. I just lost a hundred health. I put, I put Ghost Dancer back on, right? I did. Okay, cool. And then these these guys will fuck you up, too. Kills the programming team for leveling up uh, in air, not ruining your momentum. Yeah, good point. That's one of those little detail bits that uh, a lot of lesser games would kind of overlook. Oh, this is a regular-ass golem. Pretty sturdy. That's a big ass yo yo. Four chambers in the center of the heart of the castles of. <laughs> Wolf does a ground fireball just like another famous world. You do indeed. You do indeed. Hey, remember this asshole? Stab, stab, don't stab me. Stab, stab, don't stab me. That's all it takes, chat. That's all it takes. Doesn't all need to be disc armor. Had the hardest time this there. It's it's a bit of a step up in difficulty. Like the enemies, like those werewolves for this for this level, take a significant amount of damage. In combination, monster you see Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Now, I haven't played the original Dragon's Dogma, so it's not exactly huge news to me. But I know there's a bunch of folks around here that are really excited for it. Yeah, these guys. There we go. If you get the spacing right, you can get them with two disc shots. Damn. Oh shit! That didn't stay on his platform. What a piece of shit. Heard neither the Oh god. It's Satan. Okay, Satan's dead. Giant's Island is fun, it's one of the better batch insane power uh fantasy RPGs I've played. The real problem with the werewolves is everything they do is really fast. Like, there's very little warning, so you, you kind of just have to feel out their rhythm. Satan looking a little chuffy. Street Fighter turning and a Chun-Li player didn't turn off the new- oh yeah. Poor Chun. Poor Street Fighter ladies. Yeah, I love I love this about the map in this game that it's got these big floating chambers up above everything. It gives And now I made it to the clock tower. We've actually connected the clock tower. <gasps> Look who it is! So we meet again! I'm glad to see you're unscathed. Good to see you too. Uh, I guess I want to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Someone told me that you are to inherit Dracula's powers. I take it that lady from the church told you that, didn't she? It's not true, is it? The term inherit is incorrect. It's true then. I was born on the very day that Dracula was destroyed. So in short, that means that I am Dracula. Some ironclad logic there. It can't be right. You've been so kind and friendly to me the one time I met you before. That is because I don't consider you a threat to my mission. But that being said, you have made it this far. I sense a power within you. Do tell me, what kind of power has awoken within you? Power to rule. What? You foolish boy! That's impossible! Huh? <laughs> I 
I can't remain here any longer. I must get to the throne. Your name is Soma, right? You are wrong, Soma. I will not allow you to rule. Jeez, what was that all about? Oh no, we made the hot guy scared. <laughs> all right, clock tower, go. Okay, I remember. Okay, I remember this clock tower. This one. This one, you gotta be pretty careful. Those spikes on the wall will, like, end your shit if you are not careful. Yeah. Yeah, I need to make- I need to make some liberal use of flying armor down here. Those lightning gulls suck, too. And we're not fighting you. Goodbye. There we- okay, save room, we're fine. We're golden, everything's good. Yeah, Medusa head plus spikes, not a good combination. Oh man, I love this song. God damn it, Yoko, I was just about to jam out to that. Hello, Soma. Hey, Yoko, I just ran into Graham. Really? Which way did he go? He was in a rush to get to the throne. Just as I thought, there's something important in the throne room. I'm sorry, Yoko. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? He's not who I thought he was. He was kind to me only because he thought I was powerless. I see. But his attitude changed suddenly when I told him about my power. Well, in his mind, he thinks everything in this castle is his. And he ran like a baby, Lamau. So that's the reason, but it's better this way. What it? What is? The fact that he sees you as an enemy now means you're my comrade. Does it? What? You don't want to be on my side? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it's so much fun to tease you. This is not the time to be fooling around. Your presence here has thrown Graham into a panic. This is our chance. What sort of chance? Using his cunning mind has been able to... Yes, he's obviously very cunning. He's been able to evade us up until now. I don't think anyone's ever seen him panic before. I get it, circumstances right now are making him act this way. That's exactly right, this is an excellent opportunity to trap him. But I must be on my way, see ya! Dude, everyone is hot in this game. Everyone is hot in this game. I wonder what this game looks like without the dot matrix filter, because I remember the previous one looking like a Technicolor nightmare without it and massively improving the aesthetic. I can show you. Uh, let's see, the setting, systems, GBA, video, display mode. It would look like this. Significantly brighter. Oh wow, way worse, yeah. Oh no, that's not right. That's not what I said it to. What was it? Was it this? Yeah, it was this. SP 101. Yeah, apparently, like, I, re I remember, um... Harmony of Dissonance was really hard on people's eyes. So we, we, uh, started using the dot matrix. And I figured I'd just keep it for this one. Because it would probably be the same case, and yeah, it is. I mean, it, if you, it makes sense if you full screen it. It takes a lot of the edge off. I will say on the pocket itself, like, because it, I'm I'm playing this on the analog pocket using the dock. Um, if you play this on the analog pocket itself, like playing playing without the dot matrix filter looks really really good. But yeah, full full screen on a computer streaming it like this, I think the dot matrix helps a lot. Fuck the clock tower forever, fuck the clock tower. Bel Belnade's family men women tend to have the genetic jackpot. Let's say that again.
So you may you may have noticed I am not fucking around in the clock tower because the clock tower will kill you. The clock tower will kill you stone dead if you screw around in here. I'll come back later when oh god. I'll come back later when I've got more powers and and fully explore stuff, but like right now, like I don't want to risk it. So that goes to another tower, I guess. And this is, oh, that background doe. That background doe. Hey, I know this guy. Can I? Oh, that does work, okay. And we're down to him just doing 44 damage to us. So not nearly as scary as before. I recognize his main melody is definitely a reference to another Castlevania theme. You sure you haven't just heard this one before? Because it's one of the more memorable tracks from this game. Oh boy, boss time. Ready to boss chat? I'm ready to boss. I hope I'm ready to boss. Guess fucking who? No talk, have at you. Now this one's a little different at first. You don't attack him, you attack the scythe. Which is interesting to me. Hey, this guy sucks. Uh-oh. Whoa there, champ. Do not want. Ow. Probably right, been 20 plus years since I played this. So I somehow remember the clock tower music in this game. It is a really catchy tune. It is really good. All right. Fuck your side. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Death is such a dick in this one. <laughs> Ow. 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 This fight has got to be such a pain in the ass if you're if you're using a short range weapon. I don't think I've ever done it with a particularly short ranged weapon. Like I can't imagine using like the oh fuck, I can't imagine using a combat knife or something on this. <laughs> fuck. Oh god. Okay, we actually need to use an item now. Um. Tasty meat. I love it. Dead being a fucking jobber in Dracula's regime was always weird to me. It really depends on the game. It really, really depends on the game. Yeah, in Castlevania 4, he is a motherfucker. I think in Castlevania 3, he was a motherfucker too. I mean, he's not exactly a jobber here, honestly. Like that, this is the first boss that I've fought so far that actually had me using a healing item. <clears throat> Attacks enemies using sickles. Okay, I think we've gotten out of the regular enemy as bosses phase. I think, I think from death on, they're all gonna cough up their souls because they're gonna be one-off fights. 
And his soul is actually pretty cool because it does exactly what he does. It just generates scythes around you. I don't mean like difficulty, like it's just a dude in the castle, doesn't not do, oh no, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That is a good point, yeah. It's it's one of the, one of the funnier things about the setting. And here's here's the uh, here's part two of your water powers. This allows you to actually move around underwater. But yeah, it's really funny how death death itself ended up in the service of, of a fucking vampire. I have no idea what Skula is. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be either. Some kind of water creature. Maybe Scylla, yeah, maybe Scylla. So let's see. Go away. Oh, I said go away. You never heard of a school of fish. Jesus Christ, grunt fodder. Have mercy. Aria localization strikes again. Yeah, it's funny, I never really thought about it, but I guess I guess the weakest part of this game is is his localization. Cause a lot of this is bad. Bad and or straight up wrong. Surprisingly bad, isn't it? Cause I mean, um Yeah, Harmony of Dissonances was okay. Hell, Circle of the Moon's localization was okay. Where are we? Oh man, we're at exactly 50% map, map completion, chat. Dialogue doesn't seem to be too badly ruined, the item description. Yeah, the dialogue is okay. I, you know, we don't know how exactly, oh, it's a one way, shit. We don't know how exactly these characters are supposed to come off. Maybe Soma's not supposed to be the gormless idiot he sounds like when he's talking. Maybe Hammer's not supposed to sound like a pro wrestler, though I'm pretty sure he's supposed to sound like a pro wrestler. I'm pretty sure Genya's supposed to be brooding and Yoko's supposed to be flirty. But yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about Soma. We we might have missed out there. Makes sense for a himbo like him to be a complete nerd. I wanted that money. It's 2,000 smackaroos, chat. Okay, thank you, iframes. That was a gremlin? That was a fucking gargoyle. Are you insane? Oh, hello. Thanks for streaming tonight, by the way. I had depression hit me pretty hard at work. It's a nice slap. I'm glad you came by, dude. It was so, it's been really good to see you. And isn't that, like, I, I am particularly enjoying revisiting this game, you know? I had a great time playing Morrowind. But, you know, some something this, this like, direct and, vis and visceral, and, and something that was, you know, so, so important to me as, uh, as, as a, a young man, it's, it's nice to revisit it. The bo- oh shit, I almost landed on that. Needles! Oh good, it's Satan again. Poor Satan doesn't do anything. He's just like, pwa, pwa, pwa. Pro wrestlers have a better rep in Japan, maybe. Perhaps, perhaps. Wasn't Pong the real big deal when you were- <laughs> If you can believe it, chat, I played this in college. Shocking, I know. No one throws hands like Satan. Hmm, there's no Satan over here. Oh, there's more clock tower there, Jesus Christ. Oh God, that's bad. 
I think this is one of the I think this is one of the games where um, being turned to stone is a huge damage multiplier on you. I think. Is there something going on in this room? Maybe not. Consume strawberry. Probably should, shouldn't I? Yeah, we need we need to not be here. We need to be elsewhere. Nope, 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 nope. Bombs, men's. Okay, we found fast travel. That's good. Let's find out strawberries are Native America. Oh, we made it. Okay, we made it down to the bottom of the tower. This is fine. I just want to get out of here for right now. I feel I feel a bit ill prepared for this area. I mean, I, I did fine, but I'm also ready to not be here anymore. Did you ever play that 2D spell to look shadows? Okay, so I. That's funny. I just got two sets of needle <laughs> needle souls. Toss some mines in the air that explode at fixed intervals. No, there's a save point right downstairs from here. It's fine, and and this is an early area, so I don't I don't have to worry about getting murdered by anything. Famous last words, I know, but yeah, there's there's a save room, just two rooms to the right here, and I leveled up. So, Lords, funny funny story about Lords of Shadow. I've never actually played any of the Lords of Shadow games. Um. I did edit the script for the original Lords of Shadow, though. <clears throat> but I never actually played it. <laughs> so, I basically read the novelization. <laughs> um, okay. So we actually need to get underwater at this point. Surprised you haven't played? Yeah, I don't... I couldn't even tell you why I didn't, really. I was so mad about that reference. I went to my boss and was like, can we do something about this? And they were like, no. Because they didn't, they didn't actually want me editing the script. They wanted me checking it for compliance. Like, um, it was the... I believe it was the Xbox version. Oh, I can't get back up there. Well, I guess we're taking a long way then. Lords of Shadow, one of the people that, no, no, people liked Lords of Shadow. It was, um, it's basically a Castlevania take on God of War, but people, people seem to enjoy it well enough. Um, there was a PSP, there was a PSP follow-up and then Lords of Shadow 2, and my understanding was people did not like those games nearly as much. Because they're just small revitalization of the franchise. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. There's actually a door up here I never went through. You just haven't failed compliance with good taste. I tried, man. I, I tried. I tried to do my part, but... Oh, I'm not getting back up this way. Grind is so hard for a zombie soul and laugh right... Yeah. <laughs> The zombie soul is about as close to useless as you can get in this game. Yeah, you're thinking of the sequel. Yeah, Lords of Shadow 2, people, people had issues with, and for good reason. Um, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go to the end of this area. Because there might be some stuff I can actually grab. Hop. I think that piece of armor is right above me. Yeah, I knew a double jump isn't enough to get that. Shit. enough to get up here. 
I got me Copper Plate, which I think is crappier than what I'm using. Most likely. And then I got whatever was below here, I think. Localization inside where you place Aria in the symphony like uh, tier chart. It is, Aria of Sorrow is my favorite Castlevania. I, I believe it is the pinnacle of the series. That is no lie, that is no exaggeration. I do think Aria of Sorrow is the best Castlevania game, period. Funnily enough, my favorite rendition of Vampire Killers from the light, from the light gun arcade game. What's the worst? Ooh. Worst, worst Metroid style one or worst Castlevania period? Do I do an out of bounds glitch with that kid? No, I do not. <laughs> I think I know that one though. I think I've heard of it. Are they different? Well, yeah. I, I generally like all of the Metroid style ones, but there are some really bad traditional Castlevanias. That's okay, I'm sure it's hilarious, but I don't really feel like getting soft locked at the moment, thanks. Or I don't feel like getting pushed out of bounds, thanks. I guess I might as well answer both questions. Um, I think... I think the, I think the worst Metroid-style Castlevania... The worst one's probably Harmony of Dissonance. So I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the underwater stuff for tomorrow night. I'm actually gonna go back to the floating gardens because I, I really just kind of skipped straight through that to the clock tower. I think a lot of people agree Haunted Castle is a stinker. Worst Castlevania overall. Um, I really don't like Castlevania Chronicles on the, on the PlayStation. I think for me, it's probably a toss up between that and Dracula X. The the difference, oh, here's the difference. Um, Dracula X is garbage. Dracula X is bullshit. And the final fight is one of the most frustrating things I've ever tried to do in my life. But I was able to get to the final fight in Dracula X. Uh, I wasn't able to get anywhere in Castlevania Chronicles. Adventure not even netting a mention. Adventure, like again, adventures, adventures in this weird spot where like, I can't, like adventure is bad, but like, I have a weird sort of respect for adventure because of how good it looks on Game Boy and like what, what they were able to accomplish with like basically launch era Game Boy. Like it's kind, like it's kind of a shit. It's kind of a remarkable feat from that perspective. Like I don't really like either of the Game Boy Castlevanias. Adventure and and uh, Belmont's Revenge are both kind of shitty. But I I don't hate them the same way that I hate Dracula X or uh, Chronicles. Shit, these guys. Jesus Christ, bro. Dude! A difference is Castlevania Chronicles from that. It's, I've never played the X68000 uh, version. See someone go through Castlevania Chronicles on the 68K in one sitting, they'll set an herb, and herb is completely broken. No, fuck, I hate this. I hate these stupid little devils. At least they're not as obnoxious as the ones in uh, Symphony. 
which is the Game Boy when you played the sped up processor ROM. That was the original Castlevania Adventure. That was the original Game Boy one. And yeah, that made it infinitely more playable. It's so plotting. Got Pollo Loco. Yeah, I think Castle. I, yeah, I I think Castlevania Chronicles is the worst Castlevania that I've played personally. Fuck. Good music, though. I mean, it looks cool. That was a cool update to Castlevania with some Super Castlevania elements. I haven't tried the PS1 Castlevania yet. It's, um... It's a neat idea. And honestly, I think if, if they had kept closer to the original Castlevania 1 formula, it would have been alright. But man, that game is so frustrating. I know Simon has a dumb costume in Chronicle. Oh, the Leather Daddy costume? He's very pretty. It's also weird because it has merchants. It's just a really weird take on Castlevania. Like the level, like it, it's 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 missing some really important. Oh fuck me! So this is the one place in the game you can find a uh, mandrake. I thought Castlevania Chronicles was the Game Boy game. No, no. Castlevania Chronicles was the PlayStation 1... I hesitate to say remake. I... I I'm, I'm kind of... I, I'm, I'm getting increasingly annoyed with how liberally the term remake is being used these days. It's really kind of like a reimagining of, uh, of Castlevania 1. Because it changes a lot of stuff about it. Yeah. Where'd you play Kid, Kid Dracula? Is really fun. I like Kid Dracula. Kid Dracula has a very Kid Dracula has a very underrated element of Castlevania, and that's charm. All of the best Castlevanias have have a heaping helping of charm to them, and the the one the ones that lack charm tend to be the 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 least fun. Oh my god, where this horse's legs go? Zambi horses. Don't tell me you never seen a Zambi horse before. Yeah you <laughs> you either have charm or you lack gorm. It's one or the other. There really is no middle ground. Yeah, if you can if you can believe that there is a Castlevania more frustrating than uh, Dracula X, it's Castlevania Chronicles. Ooh, I got a crimson cloak. Oh, those rippers are the really shitty ones. I can summon. Okay, I can summon and hurl eagles. Chat. I have summoned and hurled an eagle. My life is complete now. All right, fuck off. <gasps> skellington! It's a kicker skellington. This guy is so cute. I feel bad exploding him. Dragon X. Okay, the, the comparison to Rondo of Blood is very strange. Like, Rondo of Blood is its own game. Dracula X, it's not a remake or remaster or reimagining or anything like that. They basically took all the assets from Rondo of Blood and tried to make a new traditional Castlevania out of it. And it sucks ass. Skullomania. Oh my god, thank you. Holy shit. I thought I was gonna have to spend the rest of the night grinding for this. Dude. This is the one gray soul in the entire game 
that you get from an enemy. Like, the other five gray souls are just, they're found in particular places. They're part of the progression, but this one you have to grind for, and holy shit, I got it on my second kill. That's nuts. And now I can kick. Draculax would still be forgivable if only they given us playable Maria. Yes, dude. Honestly, playable Maria would have made a huge difference in that game. Oh god, I got kicked by the kicker skeleton. So we ain't going that way. I love chat. This this just reminds me. I think we're done for the night. I think this is honestly a really good place to stop, but I just want to say one of the things that I've come to really love in Metroidvanias and also like I think it also kind of spills over into like Zelda style adventure games and stuff is when you find a door that you just can't explain. Like you don't like it's a door unlike any other door and you can't get through it, and you don't know the mechanic by which you will get through it, because it just doesn't resemble anything else in the game. And this is just, it's just a, a reminder of that to me. Like, I love this shit. It's really, really cool. It adds to that air of mystery, and it, it, it gives you a sense that there's going to be more to this game than you expected. It's not just gonna be like, oh, get to the throne room and fight something and that's it, right? No, after after you finish this quest that you're essentially on right now, this is still gonna be here. And at some point you're gonna unravel the mystery to it and it's gonna be cool. So all the best Metroidvanias do that. All the best Metroidvanias have stuff that you run across on your way to finishing the main plot that's just like, Someday I'll be able to do something with this, but I don't know what. I would like if they don't ever let you open it. No, that that would be that would be infuriating. I I would lose my tiny man-child mind if they did that. I like I like an element of mystery and like I like when I like when movies don't necessarily explain everything. Some sometimes I like having having some stuff left to to imaginations and wanderings and stuff. But no, you put a goddamn door in my Metroidvania, I'm gonna open it. You don't let me open it, we're gonna have a problem. That's just how it be. Speaking of how it be, chat, I think we're done for the night, I think. But we've done, we've made, we've made significant progress. I am at, right now, we, excuse me, chat, we, we are at 56, 56.7% 56 map completion which uh, is a lot. It's quite a lot, in fact, so. <clears throat> I wouldn't, I, I definitely wouldn't ding this game for having a small map. Um, it's not, it's it's just as big as as the maps in like Circle, Circle the Moon or... Uh... It doesn't, I'll go ahead and, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you, there's no, there's no inverted castle. There's no castle A, B bullshit like there was in, um, in Harmony of Dissonance. But there is a lot of cool stuff coming up. There is, there is some, it, it's all story stuff, really. The, in, the interesting aspects of this are tied up in the story, so. Uh, tomorrow night, we will be right back to this. We'll be exploring the lower echelons of the castle. Now that we have the soul that lets us sink like a stone in water, we can uh, explore all those uh, sub-aquatic areas. Um, and we'll probably end up exploring most, most of the rest of the castle tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be continuing this on Wednesday. Uh, despite being at over half map completion, I don't think we'll finish it tomorrow. I think there's enough to see and do that uh, it'll require a third night, and I'm totally okay with that. Uh, Thursday, we're back to the power hours. We are... Where are we? I think we're... I think we, we stopped in the middle of the top 20 in this issue. So we may actually be able to finish this issue of Nintendo Power on Thursday. And if that's the case, we could then have a, uh, a frank discussion of what y'all want to do on Saturday. 
if y'all want to jump straight into the next issue or take take a night or a few to play uh, some other old console stuff, despite the fact we're playing old console stuff right now. And then Friday, we are, oh, that's right. Friday, we're doing Home Safety Hotline, which comes out tomorrow. I would do it tomorrow, but I'm doing this. So we're gonna do this and then Home Safety Hotline on Friday. Really excited to play that game. That is a really neat one, so. Anyway, chat, let's go find somebody to raid. Let me send you off for the evening. What do we got? Who do we got? Who's doing stuff somewhere? I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Okay. I know, I know I raid Dama a lot, but they're playing something called Can of Wormholes, and man, like, I love watching them play puzzle games. It's actually introduced me to a number of puzzle games that I'm, I'm now rather interested in. So, let's see what's up with them. Let's see what, what this is anyway, so. We saw so many hot people tonight, and they'll be back tomorrow night, chat. It'll be very, very reassuring, very encouraging. Cool game so far. Look forward to the next part. Yes, there will there will be some some revelations tomorrow night, chat. I think the the, the story is going to come in it into its own tomorrow, and that excites me greatly. So, uh, anyway, gang, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for joining me for the inaugural night of Ari of Sorrow, my favorite Castlevania game, and I hope I am adequately sharing that love with everyone. I hope you can understand why I appreciate this one so much. Uh, but even if you didn't, we'll be back at it tomorrow night, like so hopefully, it. I do too, hopefully I will see you all then. But until then, as always, y'all, take care. Bye, everybody.